Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We got Sam of us again today. Yeah. We're going out on a lobster mission. And as you can see, we've got Leo Island in the background. It's a beautiful setting today, so hopefully we can find some stuff to eat. It's Smash Fishing. Woo! We've got a beautiful place to come foraging today. We haven't tried going for lobsters around here, but there's massive deep pools. It's got all the characteristics of lobsters, eh mate? It's got lobsters written all over. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we can get lucky today. It's the second day of the Ormoran tides. Uh, the chances of us finding a lot of Ormers are very slim because this place does get hammered by the Ormoras. But we're mainly going after lobsters today. Uh, we might try some seaweeds and stuff later on, but we'll just have to see how the, how the day goes. Hell yeah. Massive pools like this one. This is an ideal place to find any sort of crustacean. Lobsters, spider crabs, brown crabs. These are the sort of holes we're going to be targeting today. As you can see, they are absolutely everywhere. And all of the lobsters, the crabs, who will be tucked up inside of this. And when you've got, like I've said in previous videos, when you've got a hole with about four inches of water in, uh, that's usually where you're going to find a good lobster. Wading through the pools. On these rocks here, we're going right to the ledges. And because the tide is going to be going down for the next half an hour, we're hoping to catch the lobsters out as they try and leave or or if they're harboured up. Come on. Pretty dog whelks around here. You've got a striped one there. And you've got a normal one there. All different colours. And you've got the beadlet and enemies. All sort of top shells. We're finding a lot of these clams on the beach today. A lot of shells of them. It's good to know because the other side we didn't find any yesterday. And where the shells are, usually, you'll find the live ones. The water is gin clear at the moment. Me and Sam are just wading through. We're just looking for the spider crabs. I bet there's a few bass in this big pool. We can see how big this pool is, guys. <laughs> it's huge. Oh, there you go guys. There we go. One baby orma there. Little tiny one. Do you want to come up for a close-up mate? That's the first one of the day. Way too small to keep so we won't even bother. We just gotta get him back on the rock. Put him down nice and carefully so he doesn't get crushed. And we're good to go. Right. That right there is a long claw porcelain crab. We find the uh, broad claws a lot, but around here, it's weird, eh? The other side, we have more broad claws. This side, we got the long claw. Hmm, strange, Always interesting, eh? eh? It's the same bay, but yeah. a different side. That is a red one. A red long claw porcelain crab. I've never seen a red one before. That's cool. Yeah. Wicked, it? isn't it? It's like he's got a Popeye arm, <laughs> and the other one's a little bit gimpy. <laughs> Sam's got a couple of almonds by the looks of it. Working my way over. Oh, yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah, definitely. Beauty there, buddy. Give him a quick measure. Hold on. Only been here, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Ormer already. Well in. There's another one there. That one's going to be too small. Sam just dropped the rock. We're going to have a little look in this area now. Nothing under that one. Oh, yeah. You got one? Yeah. Beauty. She's in. There you go guys, it's always the way with warmering. You find a little spot and then you start finding them. A little baby one. I'll film that in a minute. 
Nothing under there. Nothing under there. I think I got it. Little baby abalone there. Starting to find them in this little pool now. Get the rock back nice and carefully. It's always good. Little rocks like this one. There's a little ledge underneath. That's the ones you want to lift. Sam's got another one. What's she like? Is that a little one there? Oh yeah, look, little baby thing. It's tiny. And there's the broad claw porcelain crabs. What's that one close, is it? It's touching. Ah, oh, we'll leave it. Yeah, it's probably in. So we'll rather leave it for you. another day. Got a lovely sized calamara clingfish there. Got nice little abalone. Really pretty colours on that one. The clingfish, two little blue dots on their head and they stick to you. <laughs> awesome. Or the Cornish sucker fish they're also known as. Get the rock back. I'm oh good to go. There we go, he's good. One baby orma there, guys. Under that huge rock. <laughs> Try and get it back now. What I'm going to do is just pop the armor off because we're going to break it if we drop it on its head. Watch your feet. There you go. We're just chucking back under and he'll be all good. Got two there. Two little babies. We're finding a ton of baby ormers today. It's always great to see for the future. Hell yeah. We don't want a lot of ormers. Just want for, enough for a little cook up today. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nearly went for a swim. Sam hit the mother load there. Oh, Check all those out. Four ormers, one rock. <laughs> just no big ones yet. Little tiny abalone just in the rock there. It just shows it's always worth looking in the cracks. Because sometimes you can find four or five ormers just sitting there. Some nice stripes on that one. <laughs> Get him back. There we go. He's all good. Yep. That's a big one. It's always good. If you get a rock you can't lift, it's just feel around with your hook, make sure there's no lobsters, and then put your hand under. Because you'll feel them. There you go. One lovely armor. I'll just check underneath if there's any more big ones. There's a top knot. Oh, there's, there's a baby there. There's a baby there. There's a top knot. But no more big ormers. There's one big ormer and two babies under there. And it just goes to show, as long as you're comfortable putting your hand under the rocks, because there is lobsters, there is brown crabs, and they do bite. So just have your wits about you, and it's always worth doing it. Oh, wow. That's how cool that is. That's wow cool. Never seen one that blue before. That's a proper blue spiny starfish there. And four ormers. No, oh, no, just no. under, eh, mate? That's a beauty, though. Yeah. I love seeing the spiny starfish. They grow absolutely massive as well. Good find that, mate. Yeah. Look at the way they move. Shows how quick that they go down the rocks. It's coming down the third lane. Two little warmers here, guys. Check that out. Got one armor there, one there. Big lady crab around the back. There's another armor here. We're just going to chuck the rocks back in a minute. There was a. There he is. Come here. Got him. That there is a rockling. Quite a big one as well. Slimy little critter. You can tell it's pregnant. Look at the belly on it. That's mad. <laughs> Get it back in the water. Just checking that armor. Look at that. That is one mil out. <laughs> That was a lucky armor. Hmm. 
Not on to that one. That was a big old rock. <laughs> in this hole guys I'm trying to be delicate feels like a conga or something but oh got it oh whoa feel how squidgy that is Sam look <laughs> at that for a lobster guys big freshly molted look at that I can see yeah yeah beauty of a lobster it's got no claws can't feel any claws in there. That's why you've got to be careful in springtime because if a lobster's in the hole like this one, if I went in there raking it out like it's no tomorrow, uh, that lobster would have been dead. So that one will harden up and that'd be a lovely lobster once it's hard. We get him back, I don't want to hurt him. But lovely lobster nonetheless, eh mate? Yeah, beauty. It's awesome. Get him back in the hole. There we go. He's nice and safe, hopefully. Conga don't eat him. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that one! Let's pop him off the rock. Check this one out, guys. That's a definite keeper right there. Beautiful sized Orma. That one's going straight in the bag. Found a little patch here, Sam. Nice. Nice, another little one on there, but I won't film that. Rock back. Nice, let's go for the big rock. Oh. One little baby one. Another one here. Another one there, what yeah. big? Yeah, decent. Oh, hey! Oh. Hit the mother load now. What did you do with that spider crab? Oh, I lost one. That was it. <laughs> There's Sam there, guys. Another Orma. Got enough for a cook up now, mate. Yeah, definitely, eh? Sounds found a mother load there. Just out. Just out. <laughs> Just out. Typical, eh? Next year, though, yeah. when the re season restarts, once I'm back here, I'll just put that up there. Give them a nice void to live under. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't want to be crushing all this. Hey, finding a few, buddy, but there's no big ones. Mm. Both of our wellies. If you hear this, guys, <laughs> it was full up with water. <laughs> we're just having a little break and then we're going to head down and try and find some lobsters. We've got enough ormas for us to cook today, so we're happy with that. We don't need to get loads. Uh, hopefully, we can find a decent lobster, eh, mate? Hopefully, mate. Definitely. A nice hard one. <laughs> well, get it, Sam. Oh, I see it. I see it. Bear grills. <laughs> There's a little baby whip. <laughs> that cracked me up. Sam just bear grilled him out of the rocks. That was a little conger eel, guys. We're not going to bother him anymore. Sam just sniped him. Nothing? Nothing, mate. Come on, stop. Where? Yes! Get it! Yes! Yes! Come on, Bob! <laughs> Come on! Well done, Sam! <laughs> yes, yes, we finally got one! <laughs> oh, about time! Oh, mate! <laughs> Get yeah. that bad boy up here. We're getting measured. Shit. That one's definitely in, I think. I think so, eh? Go for it. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, she's in. We got Woo. a lobster and orma cooked today, guys. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Well done, Sam. Chirping, Beauty. Mate. <laughs> what we're doing now, guys, we're just going to double check the ormas, making sure they're all perfectly legal before we come off the beach. Oh, big old Larry, baby. He's a legend, Sam. I oh, know, eh? Look at that. That's a beautiful eating lobster, that. Absolutely perfect. I think the shell's broken on that one. Let's it's have a look. broken at the top, so it's made it slightly shorter. Oh, let's put it back. Yeah. Yeah. Not take it, the risk. It was, it was in for sure. It was definitely in. That's the problem. When you're banging around with the bags and stuff, 
sometimes the edges of them can get chipped off but um yeah we, we're not that bothered now we got a lobster <laughs> that's always our main goal as everyone knows big larry back of the eye socket to the back of the carapace it's about the same size as one yesterday yeah, about five mil isn't perfect it? mate Ah, oh, what a beast mate you did well there and four juicy ormers then lovely job nice we're gonna get up to the uh bit where we're cooking guys and we're gonna get there for now and start cooking all these bad boys so we're just gonna get some instagram posts for sam's instagram at the guns the angler i think he deserves a shout out in this video you've just turned it into a great eating sesh baby big old larry how you feeling? I'm well happy, mate. We got food. <laughs> yeah. After that squishy lobster, I was thinking, oh, we've got a few warmers. That's we not a bad cook. Head up the beach as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. One more rock. Boom. Yeah. Happy days, man. Well done. Really well Let's done. Go and cook this bad boy. Yeah. We got fried orma and lovely steamed lobster. Hell yeah. That's just set the tempo for the whole day. <laughs> what we've been hour and a half orma, eh? Yeah, that's it. And um, we got just enough time to go and cook as well, so. Oh, what a day. Absolutely brilliant. We thought we were just going to be cooking up a bit of seaweed and ormers. Like, that's still good anyway. But you can't beat it when a big old Larry comes out, eh, mate? Hell yeah. <laughs> that's redemption right there. The seaweed can do one. We're going to eat some uh, lobsters and ormers today. Hell yeah. Just going to clean the ormers while Sam's setting up the cooker. We don't have a huge amount of time left, so I'm going to make this really quick. How we like to clean the ormers up is just where the shell is. Is you run your knife down, or a blunt instrument works a lot better, like a spoon or something like that. And you're popping the foot of the ormer out, just like so. And we're going to keep the shells because we're not off the beach yet. So if the authorities want to check our ormers or whatever, or what we caught, we've got proof of that. And all you're doing is cutting all the guts off, just like so. And then there's a mouth here. And what we like to do is go as close to the mouth as you can, cut in a V shape. And that takes all of the mouth out, all of the rest of the guts. It's beautiful. And then you're left with the foot of the ormer. And what we've got is just a rock today, but you can use a Brillo pad or any sort of brush or scraper and it will get it off. And we're just going to rub all the uh, all the black algae off the side just to clean them up a little bit. And as you can see, it exposes the white meat underneath. Beautiful. So I'm going to do that to all of the ormers now. And we're ready for cooking, baby. So there you go guys, that's our orma, all nicely cleaned, let's get that little bit of shell off there. So we've got a nice orma here, and what we do, it's a bit medieval this way, but we're working with what we got on the beach, and you're just tenderizing the orma. So you give it a good old beating, just like so. <laughs> Slippery little things, and that's it. And you're just working your way around the orma. If you can keep it on the rock. It's always better with a tea towel. There we go. Beautiful. Little rinse off and that's nicely tenderized, ready for the frying pan. Want to explain what you're doing there, buddy? Just putting a little bit of water in the bottom of the, the pot to boil the lobster. Nice. And that creates a lot of steam. We only need about half an inch to an inch, and that will boil up the lobster nicely. What we're doing for the ormers, we've got them all nicely tenderized now. Perfect for the frying pan. We've got a bit of garlic salt, uh, some plain flour, I think that is. Plain flour? Yeah. Yeah, plain flour or self raising it. It don't taste a difference to us, to be honest with you. Leave it in the comments if you think it does. 
And all we're doing is putting garlic salt in here and then our almonds go straight in there and we're just going to give them a dusting. And what that does is create it to get nice and crispy and then into our bellies. And all I'm going to do now is because we're steaming this lobster, is just put some garlic salt in the water and then we we'll crack the claws so we get a nice garlicky tasted lobster. Ho, ho. Just going to dispatch the lobster. As we said in a lot of previous videos, we don't like to just boil a lobster alive. For one, it's dangerous because the water can splash back at you from the tail. Oh, that's a good point. That there, is if that hits the boiling water, it will go all over your face. I'm just showing you these swimmerettes here. Uh, the ones closest to the body. If these are hard, it's a male lobster. If they're soft, it's a female, most of the time. Because the last lobster in the other video, we thought was a male, eh? And it wasn't. So it's just a little, sh just to show you guys, if you go out and find lobsters, just to how to tell the sex on a 90% average, shall I say. And how we like to kill them is there's a cross on the head here. There's always a cross. You go from there, straight down, uh, straight towards the head and what that does is kill the brain and then the lobsters completely ready for cooking oh that's smelling good we got a nice bit of steam being produced now so ready for our lobster straight in the pan and now we're cooking so once our frying pan gets up to heat we we'll start frying our almas and by the time the almas are cooked they're usually about three minutes to four minutes each side the lobster would be perfectly ready. What we're doing now, guys, if you wonder why we're getting a lot of different angle shots, we're trying to maintain our distance at the moment, obviously with everything going on. So what we're doing is just shaking off the excess and getting the almas straight in the frying pan. Beautiful. So we get all these cooking. We're ready to eat, baby. Hell yeah. Biggest claw. Smash tradition. Oh, oh no! Yes. Come on! <laughs> fair play, fair play. <laughs> Lucky bugger. Look at that, he's got a massive claw there. <laughs> so there you go, guys. That's ours each. Just show you Sam with his nice big claw. Big claw. <laughs> right, everyone always wants a close up of the food. And that's what a lobster looks like inside. Absolutely to die for. Nice crispy almas. I just set the camera up. We get eaten. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Definitely. It smells delicious. Oh. Fresh lobster and abalone. You cannot beat that. Mmm. The wow crispy as that. Well. Yeah. Mmm. Soft as anything, eh? Really tasty, eh? Mmm. Mm. We said yesterday, the lobster wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> got a couple of almonds to go yeah. with it. And how fast we got it as well, to be fair though. Very quick, huh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I missed almonds. These are probably going to be the last ones of the year as well. Yeah. The season's That's closing. It. That's a good point. Uh, tomorrow is the last almond in tide, but uh, we won't be going tomorrow because it's it's not a very good tide. No, eh? not at all. 1.7 meter. Yeah. Uh, we usually go on a 1.5 or lower. We don't usually get almas on a 1.4 or lower, but um, this spot, we've only recently been foraging, mm. and the amount of lobsters we found. Loads, eh? Loads of them. So we're definitely going to be coming back here on the lower tides. Hell yeah. Mmm. It's been a good day. Mmm. Oh, I gotta go for it. <laughs> gotta take the poop track out. 
beautiful. Look at that, fresh lobster. Mm. All that effort running over the rocks is well worth it. Definitely, mate. You made the trip, mate. Definitely. Fair play to you. It was that. We were we were gonna walk up the beach and we seen a little little gully that was full of water, so we're like, oh, we'll just try for a lobster, maybe a couple of ormers. Walk round there, ain't eh? nothing, nothing, nothing. Sam finds this little well with a big rock in, pulls it up, bam. I didn't even see the lobster at the start of it. I was looking for orbs <laughs> under the rock, there was none, and I was just like and then there was a rock. And he had his whole body tucked underneath, and I just saw the two claws sticking out, and I was like, bang! <laughs> a bum. Got him. <laughs> I was saying to Sam as we were walking up, he did not hesitate to grab that lobster. <laughs> he was like, bum, got him. <laughs> I was hungry. Well, fair play, man. Well worth it. Even the pincer claw on it, it's a big it's one. A beast, eh? You know, the one yesterday it had a small pincer yeah. claw, eh? Not a lot of meat, but. Mmm, yeah. absolutely amazing. Oh, that's a really full lobster as well. The meat inside that. Look at that for a fresh bit of lobster claw. Mmm. Mmm. Can't stop it. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes so good, eh? Yeah. All in such an acquired taste as well, eh? Mmm. We get, that's probably one of the number one questions we get with abalone is, what's the comparison to it? But um, it's hard, the texture's a bit different, but um, the taste is very much like fried cuttlefish. Mm. But the texture's, the texture's hard to pronounce. It is, yeah, it's nothing it's, like we've really ever tried before. It's meaty, but um, it's slightly soft as well, but not mushy. If that makes any sense to you guys, uh, it's really hard to to answer that question. Ah, oh. good eh? Mm. A lobster day is always a good day. Definitely, mate. Mm. Stuff in my face now. <laughs> mm. Deserved it. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> well, you're eating good now. Yeah, that's it. Mm. So, I won't leave you any longer, guys. We're going to finish this off while what's left of it. <laughs> I think we polished it. <laughs> no time. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to check out Sam's Instagram, he's going to have pictures of today up there. You got some good pictures to put up, eh, mate? Yeah. Happy days. If you like my channel, like and subscribe. Hopefully, there's going to be plenty more to come. It's Smash Fishing. Woo!